in the middle of Melbourne. Um, so about five minutes from the airport. Um, about to get our first glimpse of the pool. We're gonna have a bit of a pool party. Pretty industrial scene at the moment. A few truckies, tradesmen. When you go in something so new and different, you just, I always just go to it, no expectations. If I get one little tube and get to do one or two turns, that's better than what I thought I was going to get. So, Sick. Pretty pumped on it. <laughs> something cool in Australia, that's for sure. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Oh, oh, what? Oh, what? No way. <laughs> oh my god. Nah. Look at your left rider. Holy shit. Oh. <laughs> I don't know which one to look at. This is too much. This is yeah. way too much. Oh, right. Oh, oh, right. Oh, oh, right. Oh, oh, right. Oh, wow. Oh, are you kidding me? crazy Spanish bastards have, have really pulled it off this time. We just caught about a thousand waves each in a few hours and uh, I'm completely rooted. <laughs> the pool's about the size of a footy field and there's a concrete slab going right through the guts of it. And yeah, there's a left on one side, a right on the other side. And basically the wave works uh, with a big domino snake, they reckon, which pretty much pushes off um, the wave and the left breaks at the same time as the right which is pretty cool because it splits up the crowd and just basically double the waves. It's right out into the corner of the, the pool so you're, you're wedged up into the corner um, which, is, which is pretty insane and the wave is, is a lot longer than what I thought just from seeing those first, first few photos. Um, but yeah, and you're obviously taking off right next to the wall, which is pretty cool. I even got a couple of ways where I'm paddling in, and my like shoulder was brushing the, the concrete wall, which was a pretty cool feeling. The bottom's flat, no urchins or, uh, or live coral, which is always great. But um, yeah, that, that setting, the, the big slab setting, um, if it sucks you over, you, you definitely get pushed against the cement. Um, so it's not for the faint hearted. It's a, it's a fierce, ferocious slab. It definitely feels like a, like an open ocean water slab. Just how it, not how it comes in, but when you get, when you stand up and you kind of look down the line, it's just got all these full bends, like a full west bowl of chopes. <laughs> so as for the wave settings, uh, we tried, we tried about four or five of them today. Um, so we started off with the, they call it the beast. Uh, it's like a. Yeah, that's the, the Chopes West Bowl slab. Um, that's pretty, yeah, that's a pretty full on setting, that one. The first couple, I was like, this is like a full slab. I don't know, kind of hearts in your, like, racing. Yeah, you're like, fuck, the thing's like drawing. And I was like, wait, you're just a pussy. This is like a two foot wave in a pool. And then Parco paddled out like five minutes later and he was like, fuck, my heart was like up. And I was like, yes, it's not just me. And it was like a mega pussy, it's actually like, a pretty intense little slab. Like it's real quick, but it, for a minute it's like so touch and go. The barrelly slab was pretty, I mean, as a surfer, we're all pretty addicted to getting barreled and, and these guys have built a, a wave that allows you to get that feeling. I got pounded on one. One I got too low on the thing and it pressed me pretty hard on the on the concrete. And, but soon it's soft, I mean, there's no sea urchins or anything like that. It's pretty easy. <laughs> The next one uh, was like a point break setting, so it's pretty much like a like a wave at trestles or something. You could do like four or five turns on. 
I really like the turns wave actually. Yeah, we didn't get Kind of wish that. I got a few more on yeah. the turns, but it was come back next time, I guess. It's hard to say. I really like the long one with turns. It kind of, they said it was a point break style. Um, I was on my twin pin at the time, and a little black baron, so that felt sweet on that. Parker was pretty special <laughs> just to see him sneak into a couple. It felt like I was watching him go past me at Snapper a few times. The next one, yeah, was like a, a similar to a point break setting, but kind of like an inside like green mount where you can just do a couple of turns and then get a really nice playful tube. Everyone was like all the you know the, the founders and the owners and stuff of the pool were just leaning over the pool asking for the feedback and then we'd give them the feedback on what we thought they could improve on or like more of this, less of that and then they'd radio it to the, the boys in the tower. 15 seconds later, bang, there it is. Like he shit me. <laughs> It's a pretty perfect spot to just come here with a, with a big group of your mates and just have a few tins and, and just surf and have an unreal day. I mean, just just sitting along the side of it and, and just watching it's so entertaining. Like every, every single wave comes through, everyone's like hooting and screaming, which is an amazing, amazing thing to watch. So vibes are definitely high. I definitely, I'd love to come back with a, with a huge group of friends and fucking rage. Hooting your mates, watching them get barreled. It was insane. I, I'm pumped on it. Definitely come back. Soon, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs>